Okay, now comes the creative part. We've made our dough. We need to roll it out. Now, initially I start doing it just on the bench top like this and it works out fine. Later you'll see I've had to make some modifications to the way that I have worked this dough. You can see that the texture of this dough is really nice to work with. It, uh, there's no cracks, it's really nice and smooth and uh, it is a real joy to manipulate. Once you've got it to the size that you need, you can start cutting out your pieces. Now I have made these templates from scratch. I can put a video up with how I did this. I haven't done that at the moment, but I might actually put that up and later on as a secret video, which I link from here. The website where I downloaded the recipe for this gingerbread house or gingerbread church, in my case, the BBC Good Food website, they did have a template that you could use to make your own house. But because I am wanting to make a church and a specific de design of church, I have drawn up my own template. Now I'm going to cut out roof pieces for this section. As you can see, I have written on the template what they are for and how many I need. I think that that was a really good thing to do looking back because sometimes I got a little bit confused about what I was doing and, and what I needed. That doesn't sound like me at all, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> we all know it does. Now to gently move them over to our tray, trying not to stretch them out if we can because we want them to try and remain close to the template that we originally designed. It is important to note here that I have already preheated my oven to 180 degrees. The sweet bit that I've added into this gingerbread church is I'm going to make glass doors and windows. So I don't know whether I'm doing the right thing here, but freehand I cut in a design of where I want them to go and what I want them to look like. You could most definitely draw up a template for these so that you get them consistent if that is important to you. I'm not particularly fussed about things like that but I know lots of other people are. So at the moment I'm quite happy going freehand. This is as I said going to be the front door. I wanted to make it a glass front door for no reason other than I thought that it would be a nice effect. I'm using Fox's Glacier Mints here. They are a hard boiled sweet. You can use other hard boiled sweets that you might like. The really cute thing is if you use colored ones in the windows, it makes it look like a stained glass window. But I've just gone for this clear glass look. I've had to crush those with a hammer just to make them melt a little bit more easily. Then into the oven they go for about 12 minutes or until it looks just a little bit darker and around the edges. You can see here as I starting to roll out this piece of dough that because it is sat in my bowl for a little bit of time it's, be it's begun to get cracked. I mentioned in the last video that the recipe said that if the dough wasn't combining properly you could add a splash of water. This is the point where I started to add water to my mix because it just helped it to combine that little bit better again. I'm not going to show you every step in this gingerbread construction because I think that you can work out roughly what I'm doing and the video will just get too long but here I am going to do the first of the roof sections for the main house or the main church in my case. Here I am doing one of the side pieces for the porch and I'm also going to cut a window into it as well. And once again we're going to add in the crushed up boiled sweets to make the windows. Time for a change in operating procedure now. The dough was beginning to stick to my bench top so I am rolling it straight out now onto the grease proof baking paper and I will cut it and roll it on here from here on in. The piece that I'm cutting out now is going to be the back of the church and again I'm going to add in a window and add in the boiled sweets. The piece that I'm working on now is going to be one of the sides of the church. 
remembering that I am going to need to make two of these to hold up my building. <laughs> I am also going to cut windows into them freehand so that we can have beautiful windows on the side of our church. Again adding in the boiled sweets to make the glass panes. As I said earlier if you wanted to use coloured sweets here you would get a stained glass window effect but I'm going for minimalistic and simple for this church. Here is what one of the completed sides looked like when it has come out of the oven and here is another one baking. And now to cut out the last piece which will be our front which the porch will be iced onto. I'm going to leave this video here and I will do another one with the decoration.